RetroReviewRevolution.com Okay, I got a request on YouTube from a, a gentleman asking how to set up the uh, R4 card that I had just reviewed, the gold model. So we're going to show you how to do that real quick. Uh, load up your favorite browser and uh, go to www.r4ids.cn and you'll see the uh, main web page for them come up. Obviously you can see pictures of the card there. Go up here to download click up here. Now there's going to be a few files you want to download. First will be wood and uh, the newest version is 1.35 as of this video so we click a download and it'll work on that and then we also need firmware now there's two types of firmware here uh, you want to click this one up here the top one if you have a non 3ds card if you have a 3ds card you click this one out down here. So since we do have a, a gold 3DS rather than a non-gold, we'll be clicking this one here. And it starts downloading. And then finally we need the kernel download, which is like the primary software of it. And uh, it comes in a multitude of languages. You pick out the language you want. Obviously I'll be choosing English. However, uh, it's also cool that it does come in Dutch, Russian, uh, two forms of Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and German. And then uh, also while you're here, there's some pre-built skins that they've got set up too. So while waiting on all that to download, I've created a folder here. This folder is going to represent your SD card. So as of right now, your SD card would be completely empty. First we open up our uh, Wood R4i Gold in WinRare and you want to copy the contents of this folder to the root of your SD card like so and then we have the uh, R4i gold patch, which if you need it, I didn't need it, but if you need it, here it is, and then they'll, you've got either the uh, DSi or the DS Lite, so you pick whether you've got DSi or DS Lite, and pop the file into the root of your SD card folder. I didn't need it, but some people may. And then finally we open up our English firmware and then you do a straight copy over and then you'll get a folder that says there's already a file in it with the same name in this location just click do the same for the next three conflicts move and replace do this for all current items yes go ahead and skip any errors that come up And there you go, uh, your card's now completely set up. Now all you need is a place to put your DS-ROMs. Uh, most people, I've seen two ways. One way is just drop them all into the root folder. I like mine a bit more organized than that, so we're going to right click in the root of our SD card, create a new folder, call the new folder NDS. And then all of our uh, DS ROMs would go in here. So we'll go to your DS ROMs that you've uh, downloaded or ripped, whatever. There's our big list of ROMs there. And you just uh, pick whatever games you want. We'll choose one at random here uh, Kirby Superstar. Drag and drop into your NDS folder. And there you go, uh, that DS game is now ready for play in your R4. 
Now, uh, while I'm doing the tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to set up the NES emulator real quick, just in case that does come up in the future. Just go to Google and uh, Google NESDS. And because I'm using Chrome, I can just search for that right in the title bar. Go ahead and click that first link that comes up. And then that uh, you should be at if uh, the if it don't work for you, the website for this is actually www.ds-extra as an x t r a dot com slash n e s d s. And you'll come up to what looks like a wiki page. Scroll down, and you'll see uh, n e s d s, and you'll see a mirror. Just click on it and it'll start the download. Go ahead and show that in the folder. Go to our root SD card. Copy NESDS. I copy mine to the uh, root card. And then I will right click, create a new folder. And we'll call this folder NES. And then from there, you can put whatever NES games you want to play in this root folder. So we'll go back to our uh, ROMs, which of course you've downloaded from somewhere. I'm not going to tell you where to get the ROMs other than use Google. <laughs> And we'll just pick out a random game here. Now, uh, one thing about the NESDS emulator, it does not support zip ROMs. So if you download an NES ROM that's in a .zip format, you will need to open that zipped folder and pull out the actual ROM. So at Castlevania 3, mine is zipped, of course, so we have to open up that zip file. And then what we have now is Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse.NES. That is what NESDS uses, the uh, .NES file formats. You drag this to your uh, NES ROMs, and there you go. You are now set up to play the NES version of Castlevania 3. So uh, that's going to be it for this quick tutorial on how to set up an R4 DS, 3DS, DSi, DS Lite gold card. And uh, I will see you next time. Hope this video helped you out some.